Greetings, fellow citizens. This is Citizen Kong. Once again, I don't feel like doing a Fez night. I'm kind of drawing a blank on what I would talk about. Of course, there's other times I've, I've said the same thing and I've gone on for like 45 minutes, almost an hour. Uh, I've got some errands to run and some things to do. And I uh, guess that's about it. I want to say hello to Sammy. I tried using Skype on my cell phone the other day, and it uh, actually works pretty well. Yeah, we just spoke for a little bit. I was out uh, having my car washed. I posted a picture of my car being washed on Twitter and Facebook. I'm starting to spend a little more time on Facebook. Um, I was trying to think the last Fez night, I started talking about something, and I didn't finish my thought. Now I don't remember what it was. Nobody really seemed to notice. <laughs> if you ever notice, I start to think, I start to talk about something, and then I lose my train of thought. You know how I do. I go around and around and around, but usually I come back. Well, I noticed on my last Fez night, I, I did not return to what I originally wanted to talk about like three times. And one of it, I think, was talking about clout and how uh, joining clout is sort of a way of keeping score. So it's almost like the little bit of me that's competitive. And I'm not, there's so many things I'm non-competitive in. Well, a friend of mine says the reason why you don't like to compete is because you're too competitive. <laughs> so what happens is I find myself wanting to up my score. So part of the clout thing is like how, how involved are you, are you in social networks? And... Uh, I don't really think that would be a badge of honor unless you're a journalist or something like that, or a celebrity. I'm not exactly a celebrity, I don't know. I guess there's pretty, some pretty big shot celebrities that don't spend any time on social networks. That's kind of interesting on Twitter. I started following Roseanne Barr, who has some interesting things to say, but she's also kind of a kook. And, uh, yeah, I'm spending more time on Facebook. I don't really... Uh, to me, Facebook is too complicated. There's a lot of stuff that goes on I don't, I don't get. And I don't really see the purpose of it. I mean, if you want to talk about your status, Twitter's better for that. Hey, I'm over here and I'm, I'm eating ice cream, you know, in a little sidewalk cafe. Here's a picture of my ice cream. I know people do that on Facebook, too. Um, yeah. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about social networking. Sort of like, uh, is, it, is it that we have no life? Or, I mean, being on YouTube, where I guess we're craving attention in some ways. I guess that's what it's all about. I have to say, Timmy's and Moose, I hope you're okay with them, but Timmy's Moose videos are actually pretty funny. <laughs> Especially the ones with Moose and Jeff, Jeff Davis's penis. <laughs> Yeah, it's too bad Timmy thinks he's better than everybody. I guess that's what it comes down to. He has this attitude and he thinks we're all idiots and have no lives and he's like superior to everybody. Um, you remember how he used to bag on people using puppets? That he said like they had no imagination or they had no skill? And now he's just like puppet video after puppet video, you know? It's like he's crazy about puppets. Some of them are really, really lame. I don't get them. Well, I don't know if it's whether I get them or not. But if Timmy says, uh, I can't shut up about them. Actually, I went a whole Fez night last time, I think, without mentioning them. But I, I had to say, take it as a compliment, Timmy. Your Moose videos are pretty funny. <laughs> Jeff seems to think that whole thing that we had between us what we had between us sounds came out wrong, didn't it? Um, was lulls, you know, the whole thing. I don't know. You said Timmy told you it was all lulls. Maybe it was. I could tell you for sure that Timmy was really mad at Barfly Brooks. All right. I guess it's mostly gossip. I'm not really talking about anything in the news. I mean, I'm following the elections kind of interesting. What's interesting 
for me, for the liberals, maybe I should put on my fez. I'll just put on my fez real quick. Then I can call it a fez night. Excuse me, I have to, I look kind of funny, but I have my camera set up differently than I normally do. Time to don the fez. Greetings, fellow citizens. This is Citizen Kong, and welcome to another fez night. Tonight's fez night shall be called No Fez Night for You. <laughs> Did I already do a video called that? Uh, how about... Uh, um, God, I had some other, I had some ones written down a while ago. What should we call it? Well, it turns out I'm doing a Fez night anyway. Duck and cover, it's Fez night. Yeah, I was talk about, a little bit about Mitt Romney. And, uh, the, uh, is there any Republican that is truly inspired, truly excited about their candidate, Mitt Romney, really. And uh, on the left, the liberals, we find ourselves trying not to talk about his religion because that's something the right wing does. The right wing, religion is very important to them. And it's, they've become so extreme about religion that the Democrats have found themselves, I guess at the, at the convention there was talk about God and, adding God back into the rhetoric and, and all that. Um, I mean, I'll stick, I'll stick to what, what our, for, our founding fathers. And they say, oh, it's, this is a Christian nation. No, I mean, it has a Christian majority, uh, but our founding, founding fathers believed in the separation of church and state, and a lot of them were not what we would consider. Some of them were Unitarians, which is not a mainstream Christian religion. Um, and so, uh, talking about Romney's Mormonism, I mean, that's something the right does. Talks about religion. I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry. Have you ever noticed how some vloggers will start out and they'll say something like, I think so-and-so is a douche, la, la, la. And then they'll, they'll mention that like four times in their vlog. Yeah, and, you know, and so-and-so is a douche and I just wanted to tell you, you know, da, 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 da. And yeah, yeah, so-and-so, yeah, he's really a douche. <laughs> Try not to do that. I could say on Fez Night that I pretty much ramble, but I don't know if I repeat the same idea more than once. I hope not. So, um, but if the right thinks religion is important, maybe we should point that out to them because Mormonism is not a, you know, the, the Church of Latter-day Saints is not a... I mean, it wasn't even around when our uh, uh, forefathers, when our, when when this country was founded, it didn't even exist, as far as I know, and um, they did have some strange ideas. Uh, maybe one of the things is this is an interesting idea is that um, Cain and Abel, okay, in the Old Testament, you know, uh, Cain killed Abel. And uh, what Mormons believed is that the descendants of Cain, the bad guy, uh, were all the, are all the black people, were all the African Americans, all the people of dark, dark skin were the descendants of Cain. Um, since then, they've retracted that because it comes out so racist. So they've had to make some adjustments to fit into mainstream society. Uh, polygamy uh, is one of the things they had to sort of give up. Because uh, other people uh, think that's uh, think so. I'll call this person back. Um, because most mainstream people wouldn't uh, wouldn't go along with that. In fact, they'd get arrested. It's against the law. It's against, it's not the law of the land. You can practice polygamy, and um, so I don't know. I mean, the left, the right. I mean, would definitely be talking about. If Barack Obama was a Mormon or a Jehovah Witness or something like that, they would surely be talking about, about it. I mean, they, a lot of the idiots keep saying that he's Muslim, you know. 
Um, so I guess that's my little bit for uh, for my little fez night. Had to do a little bit of political rant because still we kind of have to walk on eggshells, at least on the left. We don't want to discriminate somebody because of their religion. Personally, I am not that uh, accepting or tolerant as I would like to be. Um, when it comes to Mormons, I knew a kid who went to our school who was a Mormon, and he was all he was all right. Not that I know I don't know. It just seems to me is that what the right's always talking about is like Amer uh, uh, family values and all this like Christian nation stuff. I am really surprised that they that they trotted out Mitt Romney as their as their candidate. Um, and I noticed that a lot of the evangelical people are kind of keeping their mouth shut about it. Because I do know, coming from an evangelical-style church, is that all the Mormons are going to go to hell. <laughs> Have you ever heard the, the other strange thing about Mormons is they believe in baptism after death. So what they do, and this upsets a lot of Jewish people, they'll get like a famous Jewish person uh, let's say like Albert Einstein, who they admire, let's say, and um, they they don't want this person to end up whatever Mormons believe. I don't know if they believe truly. Well, their version of heaven, and I think they sort of change this, but their version of heaven used to be is that if you if you you get your own planet <laughs> instead of like getting your own island, you get your own planet in the afterlife. Um, and what was it going to go back? There was the other thing, the other strange thing. Oh, yeah, baptism after you're dead. So they would perform some ceremony and say, boom, you know, Albert Einstein, you're baptized. And uh, uh, there's people in the Jewish community that find that pretty offensive. And I think there's probably maybe some people that, who, kn who knows? What if they pick somebody who is a known atheist? And don't you think their family, if they respect their atheism, would be offended by that? It's kind of strange and spooky, don't you think? So, anyway, um, that's it. I don't want to bash Mormonism too much. I mean, uh, the, 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 like I said, I knew there was a family at our school. Actually, this kid was a great kid, except he was always getting in trouble. <laughs> he was kind of a wild kid. But I remember his sister was pretty cool. They were just pretty much normal in every other aspect. I never asked him if he wore the magic underwear. Um... Not that I would want to ask him. Um, yeah. No, it's Jehovah Witnesses. I, I was had a heavy, heavy crush on a girl that became a Jehovah Witness, and she used to bring the materials a lot. And actually, I don't think a, a Jehovah Witness would ever run for public office because of their belief system. But I find them more scary than Mormons, actually. But at the top of my list are Scientologists. I have almost... I think zero tolerance for Scientology. I don't want to listen to them. I, I, in fact, if I find out somebody's a Scientologist, I will dis, I will probably dislike them. Yes, yes, I do suffer from prejudice. And maybe, uh, maybe uh, somebody should like, you know, straighten me out and say, you know what, don't, don't pick on the Scientologists because they're good because of this and that and that. I don't know. The research I've done, Scientology, it's, it's akin to some sort of. It has, it has ties with Satanism. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great week, and uh, thank you for watching. What did I call this again? Oh, duck and cover. It's Fez Night. Cheers.